Hey guys, so I'm back with another video and <clears throat> I'm doing like, um, I don't know, like just like a chit chat, get ready with me. I'm back at school, as you can tell by my background. Um, it's my junior year, well, I'm a junior, I'm second semester junior and I'm just still trying to figure out what I want to do and stuff. Um, Obviously, my major is sociology, so I'm a sociology major, and I'm not really sure what I want to go into. Everyone is like pushing certain stuff, and it's just like I don't really know. Like, I'm a sociology major just because the thought of being a sociology major and like doing what they do, but it's so much that they could you could do. Like, I initially became a sociology major because I thought because I thought um social work was a a field that i would want to go into but now i'm learning that there's so much that you can do with a sociology degree it's kind of crazy it's kind of scary because it's so much that i can do with a sociology degree and it's like you know well now i have other options as a sociology major so it's like well what option do i want to like what route do I want to take? So I'm trying to figure that out and it's like getting down to crunch time. And I just, well, I didn't just apply, but I applied for my first internship that I've ever applied for. And I'm really hoping I get it. And I really actually should apply for more just in case I don't get it. Because as you're getting into your college years, if you don't really have a plan, like internship can help you, right? So it would look good on your resume, da 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 da. So that's what I'm trying to do get one and it's with this company that my best friend interned with before so I'm really excited about that and I really hope I get it and if I get it then obviously my summer is going to be a lady it's in New York I love New York I'm trying to figure out what path I want to take doing internships and stuff and those are really important for when you're going into college or you're finishing up college. As a freshman, you can look for internships, but they're not necessarily looking for freshmen, really. Like, they're looking for someone that will kind of add to the company in the next few years, you get me? And that's the goal. So last semester, I was still a junior, obviously, and I was working two jobs. Um, and I was taking maybe like 12 credit hours. So it wasn't very hard. I had like one online class. So it wasn't very hard. And this semester, I have four online classes and I'm taking 18 credits. Needless to say, I don't have two jobs this semester because what the heck? Um, I really wanted to get two jobs this semester, but it's just like, I don't have time. Like I wouldn't have time for that so and I really want to uh, get into having into saving more that's really one of my goals and I almost accomplished it or I have begun to accomplish it and it's really a mind thing like because for me I don't buy like clothes and things like that I buy food, like I buy food. Like I can eat out like twice a day, like for lunch and for dinner and like not see a problem. And that's a problem. And so it's really just a mind thing for me. Like, and I don't, now I have something to save toward because I have a car now, but it needs to be fixed. Like it needs to be fixed. So now I'm saving toward that and really just have money to like take trips. like. I want to see my boyfriend like not whenever I can but whenever I can so that would include airfare and hotel we all just really buckle down and do what we really want to do like if you want to start a business go ahead and start a business don't listen to what people say like people who are like haters and naysayers on Instagram like oh um 
being an entrepreneur isn't for everyone you gotta da, 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 da. like that can be discouraging for people who want to start businesses and feel like they don't have it in them because i was once like that like and with the help of my boyfriend like i got out of that like him his people have always talked to him about like in the realm of a business right but my mom and my family like that is just not their energy all the time like that i didn't grow up like that so like he used to ask me like what do you want to do and i'm like i don't know and he's like like i'm be like um i maybe want to work with kids like i don't know and he'd be like but like how do you make that your own and i'm like i don't know like i don't think that i can and there have been like ways that he told me like has shown me that you can make that your own like you don't have to depend on um a nine to five or working for a company all of your life unless that's what you're passionate about and so like that's what i'm just trying to figure out so we should all have multiple streams of income because that's how you like that's how you get up in the world you're, you're not going to get up working 40 hours a week or 50 hours a week or six like you might think that you're getting up because it seems like good money at the time but when it comes down to it like you're not really living a life i'm talking a lot because i'm just kind of letting this sit but yeah you're not really living a life like you're just going to work getting off of work either going to sleep doing something with your kids going to work like you're not traveling like you want you're not living like you want and stuff like that and i don't want to live like that so my whole thing for 2019 is just figuring out ways to create multiple streams of income and right now it's endless people selling hair endless people selling lashes endless people doing lashes and sometimes you have to remind yourself like if you're interested in that it's money out here for everyone one two just because they're selling the same thing doesn't mean it's hair. It's not the same thing. It's lashes. Like, it's not the same thing. And it's all about believing in yourself. Like, if you believe that what your product is, is top notch and you selling it like that, then you, you like, you're in competition with yourself. Worry about what you're producing, what you're selling. Don't worry about what so-and-so on Instagram selling or how many sales so-and-so on Instagram posting. Like, that's what's going to mess you up. So I had to, I'm just saying this because I had to t teach myself this over 2018. But that's why 2019, I'm going into it with like a different mindset. So yeah, I'm really interested in just kind of like creating my own business, but yeah, creating my own business really. It's crazy, like this is looking like really good, but when I really do my makeup to go somewhere, it don't come out like this. But anyway, about having that one job. So I think my hours are about to get cut. And that was about to make me want to get another job, like have two jobs or whatever. But I'm really going to just take YouTube seriously and just like put out content that actually like means something to me. I just feel like when you're trying to go and do what the masses are doing and do what you aren't really passionate about but what will simply just get people to look like yeah that works for you but in the long run does it really right and so that's my thing like I just want to put out content that I will watch and that's really it like I don't really care about you know the money the views like my goal is to help people through things that I've been through and I've been through things that I don't necessarily speak about or things that I don't necessarily look like I've been through but I mean I'm obviously going to talk about them on this platform when I feel like I'm reaching plenty of people and when I feel completely comfortable and I'm not even completely comfortable on my platform because like y'all I have the mouth of a sailor okay okay like it's bad and when I'm recording, like, I have to remind myself, like, oh, shoot. Like, I'll have to, I have edited out so many, like, bad words. Just because like, I'm not comfortable with my, so if I'm not comfortable with my family or certain people seeing me curse, then I'm definitely not going to be comfortable sharing the few things that I want to share. But they're coming, like, like I said, because this is for me to help people who have been through what I've been through get through what I was going through or what they're going through. I'm not working the two jobs and I'm really trying to save. And I think 
if you want to start a business then you just have to really like if you want to do anything go on a trip if you don't have it like that then you really gotta you gotta get it like that like you gotta hunker down and save like that's what i have to do like today mind you i don't eat for my calf at school but today well i go to the calf on fridays because they be having fried fish they be good but i really want to go to zaxby's i really want some chicken tenders and french fries but i just ate the fish and i made it seem like it was zaxby's and it wasn't that bad it wasn't that bad so that's what i mean like you just gotta do stuff like that and i know i said that before and i failed but it's easier when you like set a goal and stuff like that so the way that i'm planning to save i'm gonna make a video about it about how i plan to save money it's a really effective way basically like just like saving parts of your check and doing i mean i'm sure people have done this before and like i'm not saying i'm making up a saving way but yeah so i'm gonna do that Oh, and as you see, I have new hair. I like it. I wouldn't necessarily order from them again, but I like it, I guess. Like it, it, I didn't pay that much money for this hair. So always remember you get what you pay for in anything in life. So I definitely did get what I paid for, but yeah, it's not bad, but it's not, you get what you pay for. I'm gonna record a video about the hair one of these days. I think I'm gonna drop um, a 2019 goals video pretty soon. Even though 2019 has is well underway, but I think I am just to, um, yeah, get talking about that and stuff. Really just to put it like out there so that I'm holding myself accountable, you know? So, yeah. My next video will probably be a 2019 goals video or, or a 2019 saving video or a hair review. I really don't know, but just know I'm coming with another video pretty soon. Um, So, thanks you guys for tuning in. Make sure you hit that like button you comment and you subscribe to my channel if you're new here and if you are new then make sure you go and watch all those other videos that i posted but yeah and i'll talk to you guys later